Today, one of my favorite books ever written, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. Great book. Holy shit, what a mind-blowing book this is. A guy named Randall Patrick McMurphy is in and out of jails for what he calls fighting and fucking. He's just a wild dude who ends up in the pokey every now and then. However, this time, he's landed in the workhouse. The workhouse is tough. Long, brutal days under the hot sun. Working really hard, no breaks, just brutal. And of course, And of course he doesn't want to do this. He's, he's not enjoying it. So he comes up with this plan that he's gonna act crazy and get transferred out of the workhouse into the insane asylum. And it works. They throw him in the insane asylum and he quickly finds out that the insane asylum is uh, just as messed up a place as the workhouse, the sweat, the sweat shop, the sweat house, whatever you call it. He sees when he gets there that there's no joy, there's no laughter, everybody's miserable. And it's because there's a lady named Nurse Ratchet, Big Nurse Ratchet, they call her, who runs the ward. Now, she rules with an iron fist. She's drunk on power. She um, just torments these poor men mentally, and physically. McMurphy, of course, is uh, doesn't like that kind of thing because he's an old throwback sort of Americana guy who actually stands up to bullshit. He stands up to the machine. He doesn't put up with injustice, um, psychological warfare, cruelty, and all these things that are happening and he decides that he's gonna stand up to Nurse Ratchet. He makes a bet with the guy, because he's a gambling man, that he can make her go crazy within a week. Nobody believes he could do it because she runs the place. Let me give you some examples of what she does to these poor patients. She forces drugs on them that they don't need and mess up their minds. She makes them go to these meetings where they all shit on each other and, uh, confess to sins they may or may not have been guilty of. She uh, she has a, a book that she keeps where the patients can rat each other out. So if a patient says something he's not supposed to or says something he shouldn't, one of the other patients will sneak off write it down in the book and get rewarded for ratting out his neighbor. So it's, it's uh, you know, and anybody who fights this system gets punished. Anybody who fights Nurse Ratchet, because she believes she's doing good work. She's doing her job. She's doing what she was trained and paid to do. She's the good guy in her eyes. Now, McMurphy bets the guys that he can make her go crazy within a week. And, uh, McMurphy <clears throat> had seen all this kind of thing before because he had gone to a Chinese prison camp, a communist prison camp. And he said, there's a, there's a quote in the book where he says, damn, this is, uh, this is just like being back in the Chinese prison camp. This is all stupid, nonsensical craziness. So him and Nurse Ratchet bump, bump heads. Now, Spoiler alert, if you don't want me to spoil the plot for you, go ahead and turn off now. Randall McMurphy goes to all out war with Nurse Ratchet, and it escalates and escalates and escalates. Shit gets crazy, and eventually McMurphy pays a big price. So what's the point? What's the point that Ken Kesey's trying to make? Is he saying you have to, like, it's good to stand up to the machine? It's good to fight the power, the, the system, because it didn't work out so good for McMurphy? Or is he saying, 
This is an example of what happens when you try to go up against the machine. You're destroyed. Nobody can beat it. The house always wins, that kind of thing. Which is it? I think maybe both. I think what he's saying is you have to stand up to the to the bullshit. But the system's so powerful that there's not much you could do. You're probably just going to end up getting destroyed. I think that's what he's saying. There's a scene that really hit me where McMurphy finds out that a lot of the patients are in there voluntarily. And he's like, you guys are in here voluntarily? A judge made me come in here. I'm forced to be here. You guys can walk whenever you want. And you're sitting here and putting up with the torture, the psychological damage, the physical torture. Like you you can walk out. What is this? But isn't that a metaphor for everything? I uh, rate my books on a five-star system, one being the worst, five being the best. And I give this book, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, five stars. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It is just a work of art. If you have the means, I highly suggest you get your hands on a copy of this wonderful novel. It is one of my favorites for good reason. I loved this book. I've read it five times. I'll probably read it a hundred more times. Get, get yourself that book. Curse.